Hello everyone, my name is Man of Low Moral Fiber. We're here today to talk about the difference between gemstone weapons, like this emerald sniper, and their regular purple weapon counterparts. So as you can see, these two guns are made with the exact same parts. The only difference is the skin on the emerald sniper is obviously emerald, as opposed to the standard doll camo. I'll be showing you how to get these gemstone weapons from Queen Butt Stallion in the fourth DLC, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep after this. But first I wanted to go over the only difference between these two guns other than the skin. So we'll start with the doll. This is just the basic uh, non-gemstone doll. On a body shot we're getting 375,000. With the gemstone on a body shot we get the same exact amount. However with the gemstone on a headshot we're getting 1559k. Again 1559. On the regular non-gemstone doll we only get 1503. So all gemstone weapons have a 7.5% increase in critical hit damage. We can test this again by using the gemstone Jacobs 3191 and the regular Jacobs 3102. So as you can see we gain about 89,000 by using the gemstone version. Not like huge but you know marginally substantial. And there are gemstone weapons for all purple weapons, sans rocket launchers, and Malawan sniper rifles. For example, there is no Aquamarine Snyder, and that kind of disappoints me because the Snyder is one of my favorite weapons. Anyway, um, we'll go over the gemstone prefixes for each uh, company. Doll is always going to be Emerald. Jacobs is always going to be Citrine. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Hyperion is always going to be Diamond. Vladoff is always going to be Garnet. Malawan will always be Aquamarine, as I said, but it does not work for, uh, or the skin for Malawan snipers is actually mis misplaced in the SMG category, so you'll never get a Aquamarine sniper, unfortunately. Torg is simply Rock. Um, TDR is Cubic Zirconia. See, this is uh, the non-diamond tra or auditing transaction uh, up here. It would just be called the diamond transaction. The gemstone prefix is always going to uh, override the normal um, accessory prefix. For example, in this case, it would be auditing for Hyperion. It just gets changed to diamond. So that's a little bit different there. And uh, bandit is going to be quartz. So that's all eight uh, different companies and their different uh, gemstone prefixes and uh, their skins are all going to be a little bit different than what the normal weapons would be. So I hope I was able to demonstrate that to you guys. Again, this is like your Vladoff. It comes all super red like this as opposed to your normal just silver Vladoff. And, you know, the Malawan one's a lot different. They all look different, is what I'm trying to get across to you right now. Let's take a look at how to get these weapons now. To get these weapons, you're going to need to feed Butt Stallion uh, Iridium after completing the storyline quest for uh, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep. You'll need to defeat Handsome Sorcerer. So normally she'll either do these just standard poop actions or a throw-up action, and that's not going to give you a gemstone weapon. However, seldomly, or, you know, not super uncommon, she'll go up on her heels like that and spit out one of these gemstone weapons for you guys. And that's how you're going to farm those. And so anytime she goes up on her heels like that, that's when you're going to get one of the gemstone ones. See, she went up on her heels, and we got one there. And she does it again here. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I really appreciate it. Please take the time to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.